Now let's connect the underflow radiators to manifolds. We have here seven underflow radiators on this floor and we would have one more on the attic. However, uh, we won't uh, have another manifold just on one radiator, so we'll connect it to the same manifold. So we would need manifold for eight radiators, so let's extend this one. And now we can start connection. I have connected the first one, now let's go to the second one. Now we'll connect this one, luckily we have left the space for the connection pipes, of course you can correct it also later on. Here, let's connect this through the wall. We rather should avoid that solution, but sometimes as an exception we can also use it. Okay, so in this way we have connected the radiators and now let's prepare also connection for the radiator in the attic. So we would put another riser here. And now this riser would connect the next underflow radiator. So now let's copy it upwards. And this is the bathroom in the attic. So let's insert also an underflow radiator here. So first let's go to the room zones mode that would enable us selecting the room, this bathroom in this case, and now we'll be able to insert the underflow radiator automatically. And now we can connect it to the riser. So now we can see the system also in the axonometric projection. We can change a little bit angles to make it more clear. So this is our system at the moment.